Okay, a lot of the questions that we're getting um, are not specifically about the stroke types. It seems that some of us have um, a pretty good idea of what the different stroke types are. Full, down, tap, and up. Um, but the questions are, well, when do we use those and how do we know when to use them? So um, there's some really good explanations so far, but I thought I'd make a kind of a follow-up video. So um, we determine what type of stroke we're going to use by what is going to happen next. So I'm just going to give a, a, an example. If I'm playing four loud notes, four soft notes, and I'm repeating that over and over again. I'm just going to do it with my right hand, uh, right hand only, um, kind of treat it like an exercise. So four loud and four soft. So we're going to go loud, 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 soft, 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 repeat, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, stop. So in this example, what we're doing is we're, we're having to prepare the stick for what comes next dynamically. So the fourth stroke of the loud, so we have, um, let me start at the beginning. So we're doing full strokes, right? It's, stick starts up and ends up, right? And if I was just gonna continue to play loud, that would suffice. I would only have to do one stroke type. But because um, after the fourth note, when we go to the next bar, it's gonna be quiet, that fourth note, we have to stop the stick down so that it's prepared to play a quiet note, right? So we're actually going full, 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 down, then shh, tap, 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 ah. But here, the fourth quiet note, the next measure when we go to repeat is gonna be loud again. So we're gonna to have to lift the stick up and we're gonna do an upstroke so that we can prepare for the next loud. So again, full, 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 down, shh, tap, 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 up for the loud, full, 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 down, shh, tap, 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 up, full, 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 down, tap, Right? So that's how we determine what we're doing. So if we're playing something that's loud, and then the next thing is quiet, we're gonna have to do downstrokes in order to get those sticks down so that we can be quiet and play dynamically. So if I'm playing a measure of 16th notes, followed by a measure of, uh, sorry, if I'm playing a measure of 16th notes loud, followed by a measure of 16th notes soft, then the last two loud notes are gonna be down strokes so that they prepare the sticks to be down. So these are full strokes, but the very last two are gonna be down strokes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a stop. So on and, I came up and lifted up, so that was an upstroke, and then stop, all right? So it's really about preparing yourself for what comes next, all right? so. Again, the stroke types are defined by what is coming next. That's how we decide uh, which strokes to use. So I hope that's helpful. I'm gonna do a follow-up video on paradiddles um, and we'll put it in sort of a real world application. All right, more to come.